Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to show you what I have in my everyday carry backpack. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk quickly about the pack itself. So in the front we have uh, tactical molly webbing and then at the sides, at both sides we have uh, loops which are really sturdy so you can hang your carabiner in there and some gear and then we have even more loops underneath here which is pretty awesome then you have your ordinary side buckles and if you want to you can attach a jacket to the side or some bigger item and then we have uh, some really big pockets at both sides And at the top we have a paracord handle, which comes in really handy if you happen to need some paracord in the wilderness. The shoulder pads are really well padded and yeah, really comfortable. And at the back side we have a hidden compartment, which is very well padded too. And in here you can put a small tablet or notebook or a water bladder. Yeah, so this is really nice if you have some documents that you don't want to fold. This pack has this very neat and flat compartment at the side. At the other side, same thing, only that here I have my tactical pen, which is great for self-defense. And when I'm wearing this pack, I can take the tactical pen with my right hand, because I'm a right-handed person. I think this is probably one of the best self-defense tools that you can have. And also, this comes with a pen as well. So let's take a look at this small compartment here. Okay, so here we have a nice patch of Velcro and you can attach your uh, patch to it. And then we have this small pouch where I carry my phone and a lighter. And I gotta say that I only put my phone into the pocket when I'm in the forest. So when I'm in the city, I always have it in my pocket in my trouser. Now let's check out the second compartment which is the more tactical one. So here I have my wallet. I have a small first aid kit. I have my Letterman rebar and I really love this tool. So this is really important for urban survival but also in the wilderness it's really useful and I really love my gloves because they are tactical they are really good quality these are by their company Oakley by the way so these are the things that I have in here in this smaller pocket I have a ride in the rain notebook which is always handy to have and in here I have two flashlights this is the stronger one which comes with a very modern LED light it's really strong and this flashlight is an old Mac light and it's not the strongest one I have to say but you can use this flashlight if you have to you know search for something in your eye because this light is not hurting your eye so this is something I would definitely recommend because with this flashlight you cannot look into your own eye or into the eye of a friend so if you have an injury like a splinter in your eye with this light you can take a look it's basically the same light that doctors use to look into the eye and it's not too strong which is great so next in here I have a signal whistle which I have attached on a carabiner and sometimes my keys I also take and attach to this carabiner so I don't lose my car keys or house keys okay then next here I have this cam light which is probably not working anymore so I have been carrying this around for years and years Maybe it will work though, but yeah, these are not really environmentally friendly. So this is the last one that I have and I'm not going to buy more. So in future, I'm going to rely on my flashlights. Uh, here I have a permanent marker and a normal pen. Then let's check out this compartment. In here I have a lockpick set. This is a container where I have dry tinder and I have this nail clipping set with a file and some pliers.
Oh yeah, I should also show you the contents of my first aid kit. Let's take a look. So this is just a very basic one with the most important things that you will need for first aid. And I might get a bigger one actually. Yeah. Ah, in here I also have a compass. And a mirror. And this is important because sometimes when you have, you know, something in your eye or something at the back or at your butt and you cannot look at it, you will need a mirror and see what it is. So let's say, for example, you have a tick on your back, then you can take a look with your mirror and see it's a tick or something else. And it's also a signal mirror, so you can signal for help if the sun is shining. In addition, I also have a sewing kit with a needle and dental floss. That's my small first aid kit. I think it's great and it has the most basic supplies for first aid. All right, now let's close the pack here. What I really do like about this pack is that it has really sturdy handles on the zippers, which are coated with plastic and they are really sturdy and it's easy to open up the pack. And if you are around in an urban area, you can always do this with your handles, like weave them into each other and then it's really not so easy anymore to open the zippers secretly. Okay, now let's open up the bigger compartment and let's see what I have in here. Okay, in here today I carry a big water bottle for the dogs and me. Normally I have a smaller one. And I also have this FFP3 mask in here. This is just, um, yeah, for emergency use. So normally I have my half mask respirator, but I want to have this as a backup. Then in this compartment, I have my Apovon Fire Steel. This one is brand new. And this one you can actually get at my website. So if you're interested, just visit the link in the description below. Then another product that I'm selling on my website is my Apovon S survival knife, which I have in my pack now. Um, I don't always carry this, just sometimes, because today I'm in the woods and I want to work with it. And then in here I have a map of my area where I live and also where my spouse is working. So in case everything breaks down, I can, you know, get my bearings using this map. And the last item that I have in my pack is this here, which is a rain poncho. It's made from a really lightweight plastic and usually it's used for rain, but you can also use it as protective gear against the coronavirus. So this is my current setup and I really love this pack. I think it has a great size. It's not too big, also it's not too small. It has a lot of tactical compartments, which I like. And yeah, one time I had this pack with me in the Tropical Islands survival series. And when I wanted to go into the water, I was putting my valuables into here. And then I just threw the pack, you know, into the wilderness between the palms and other tropical plants that they had. And I was putting some sticks onto it and leaves and you couldn't see this pack anymore. And that's because it's um, fabricated in coyote brown, which is the best color for um, hiding and concealing your gear. And brown, I believe, is probably the best color for camouflage for all places in the world, except for the Arctic. But if you don't live in the Arctic or Antarctica, then brown is really the best color. And the second best is green. And probably the worst color is black, because you will see it from far away. Except for the night, of course. But you won't see this color in the night as well. So now let's try to um, yeah, camouflage this rucksack and then let's take a look how well it's hiding in the forest. Can you see my rucksack? I don't see it. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I like 
like it. And by the way, I am not sponsored by Direct Action. I just happen to love this bag. I like it. It's great. You can also do some running with it if you make this really tight here, the belt loop. All right guys, so this is what I'm carrying in my EDC pack. The only thing that I forgot to show today is hand sanitizer. And I didn't bring one today because actually I ran out of it. So I have to organize a new hand sanitizer at the pharmacy or somewhere else. And that's a really important thing to have right now in the crisis. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I cannot think of another thing that I usually carry in my pack than the items I already showed to you. And I think it's important that you always carry at least the most essential gear. So it's no use if you carry around a bug out bag all of the time, if you go shopping or if you go to the pharmacy or to the hardware store. So I believe that a small pack is better because then you can run faster and you still have the most important items with you. Of course, if you always go with your car, you can prepare a bigger bug out bag for your car, which you can put into your trunk. Um, that's another possibility. But for personal carry for every day, I would always go for a very small and lightweight pack. Okay, that's it for today. I really want to thank you for watching. If you want to support my channel, please check out my website. The link is in the description below. Stay tuned till next time and stay safe. Good dog. Good dog. <laughs> Sorry. Snappy.